JustAZ.com Productions with JustAZ Aquatics. DIY Hang On Back Overflow for Aquariums. An overflow in your aquarium is a device that prevents your tank from overflowing. We use this infiltration as a means of removing water from the tank. One of the easiest ways to accomplish this is by use of a standpipe. A standpipe is a vertical pipe within your tank. When water reaches the rim of a pipe, it spills over, travels down the pipe, and exits out of the tank. This is usually accomplished by drilling a hole in the bottom of the tank and attaching the bulkhead for the standpipe to sit in. Not everyone feels comfortable drilling a hole through the bottom of their tank, and there is resale value to consider. Not everybody wants to buy a tank with a hole in the bottom. There is a solution. There's a hang on the back overflow. It is simple to make out of common PC pipe and the cost is probably less than a drill bit to drill out your tank. Let me show you how this works. We see here a side view of your overflow device. This is the standpipe. When water reaches the top of the standpipe, it goes through the pipe until it's level with the water in your tank. At this point, you will need to remove the air from the pipe. This is done through a check valve. A check valve is a valve that lets air and water flow in one direction. As we remove the air from the pipe, it is replaced by the water and spills over the top. And then out to discharge. This vertical pipe here is an air pipe. It has to be higher than the level of the water. Without it, the overflow would not work. Instead, it would just be a siphon. With an overflow device, if the water level drops below that of the standpipe, it will automatically stop. As soon as the water level rises above the standpipe, it starts again automatically. No need to reprime. You would need to reprime if you had used a siphon. You can make a simple overflow device using PVC pipe. Almost any diameter will work. The larger the diameter, the greater the flow. Using this half inch pipe, you will get a flow rate of just under 100 gallons per hour. To build this, you will need seven elbows, one T, an end cap, and of course, some pipe. The length depends on the height of your tank. You will also need some airline tubing and a check valve. Before we assemble this overflow, we are going to need to drill a small hole in the end cap and in one of the short lengths of pipe. I glued a barb in mine just because airline tubing does not silicone very well to PVC pipe. For this demonstration, I am using a 40 gallon tank. When designing your overflow, cut the length of the PVC pipe 
so that your overflow is about an inch or so above where your substrate is going to be. This is not a rule, but rather a guideline. If you ever have to do any maintenance on it or the tank, you will appreciate the extra room. I've added a reservoir here for the overflow and a pump to pump the water back into the tank. We simply use the airline as a straw to remove the water from this bed to get the overflow started. Add a cap with a hole on it. You're sucking too much air and it's making too much noise. Overflows are mainly used in conjunction with external filters in home aquariums, but are also used with automatic top off systems and automatic water changing systems. Instead of the water being pumped into a reservoir, it is pumped into a drain or a holding tank for other uses, such as plant watering. The word of caution, keep plants and other floating objects away from your standpipe. If it clogs, your tank could overflow. It is recommended that if you use an overflow device, you use two of them. If one clogs, the second one ensures your tank will not overflow. Thanks for watching. Questions or comments? Put them in the comment section below and subscribe to our channel for more videos on the DIY lifestyle.